Hello and welcome to Think Watercolour. Uh, today's demonstration is more about composition than just painting. This is a quick preparatory sketch to determine positioning of elements and choice of colour for a more finished work. It's a simple image of a father and two children running along the beach to get their kite flying. Uh, I've used the rule of thirds as a rough guide to give some balance to the scene. Uh, positioning the figures to the bottom right and the kite towards the top left. Uh, the line of the seashore and horizon are positioned loosely along the bottom third guideline. Use the rule of thirds grid as a guide rather than trying to position everything exactly on the intersections. Uh, the other thing that often happens when you get the composition right is that you find you have created a natural golden spiral too. The paper I'm using is Saunderswad of the 300 gram uh, rough paper and I'm starting with the uh, clouds using yellow ochre and raw sienna, fairly light mix but uh, dark enough to dry okay because if you have it too light it will just disappear, this, this is going to dry much lighter. Uh, for the shadows I'm adding purple and cobalt blue and just blending in wet in wet and then softening the edges with a clean damp brush. For the blue sky I'm using cerulean blue uh, with a touch of cobalt blue. Uh, again just loosely dropping in on dry paper and softening edges with some uh, uh, a clean brush that's just damp blending things together, wet in wet. Then just lifting out a few patches of uh, lighter clouds here and there with a clean damp brush again. While that's drying I'm going to paint the beach with the uh, same mixture of yellow ochre and raw sienna, slightly stronger mix. Uh, keeping it lighter towards where the sea's hitting the shore and then adding a touch of that uh, blue and purple to suggest uh, damp sand where the sea's breaking on the shore. Okay, that's dry now and I'm just painting the sea with some Prussian blue and a touch of sage green. Again, not, not too dark a mix, but uh, dark enough to dry at reasonable strength once it dries. Always remember these colors will dry much lighter, so don't be afraid of using slightly darker mixes. When you mix your colour on the palette, if you think it's just right, just darken it slightly. And then you'll find once it dries, it'll be the colour that you want. Just dropping a bit of that uh, blue into the uh, beach near the, the seashore, just to suggest some uh, damp sand. And I've let that dry and I'm just dropping in some um, white gouache just to bring out the waves a little bit. The thing with white gouache is often it will dry quite uh, flat and not as bright as you want it to. If you let it dry fully and then go over it, which I'll be doing a little bit later in this uh, demonstration. It just brightens the whiteness a little bit more. If you do it while it's still wet, you won't get the same effect. Just using a touch of uh, pyrrole orange for the uh, arms and legs of the figures. 
they're in the distance so there's no need for much detail just the su suggestion of color as i say this is just a preparatory sketch and i'm just trying to make sure i get the uh the look of the thing right before doing a more finished work I'm just going to add some reflections in the wet sand. Just some, uh, just a few lines to suggest what's there. Trying to keep the uh, painting nice and colourful, I've used um, orange and uh, blue for the clothes and it's um, a mixture of orange and permanent rose for the kite. I'm just using a touch of neutral tint to add a little bit of shadow on, on the figures in a few places, nothing too specific, they're a long way away so you, it just gives them a little bit of depth, a little bit, a bit of shadow underneath them as well. For the string on the kite, I'm just painting a little bit at each end and maybe a little bit in the middle. The viewer's eye will join them together, so uh, you don't have to paint the whole line. Again, going over that white a little bit. And I think I'm done. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, I hope you found this useful. Um, these preparatory sketches are great for just dis discovering exactly how you want the thing to look in terms of composition and colour. So do try it yourself. Uh, if you found this useful, do give it uh, a like and do subscribe and hit the notification bell for future videos. And thanks again for watching.